I pulled a two pound elk roast out of the freezer yesterday. Let's make some elk jerky. And we're gonna use the high mountain jerky board to slice it up. It's made out of hardwood and you can slice at two different thicknesses. Just put the roast on the jerky board and we're gonna use the jerky slicing knife from High Mountain Seasonings. These are actually made by our friends over at Outdoor Edge. Just be careful, you obviously don't wanna slice your hand. Take the knife and keep it flush against the jerky board and we're gonna do a little seesaw cutting action all the way to the end. Then you wash your board and knife in soap and water, get a little bit of oil, and rub it in to both sides of the board to prevent cracking and to have it ready for the next time you're gonna use it. I'm gonna take advantage of the Outdoor Edge game processor. We'll use the cutting board and the butcher knife. Grab a slice of the roast, and I'll cut that up into jerky strips that I think will be good size for my family. I'm gonna season and cure these with the High Mountain Low Sodium Hickory Blend Jerky Kit. The High Mountain Jerky Kits come with instructions for making whole muscle meat jerky like we're making today, ground meat, and complete smoking instructions. It even comes with the seasoning shaker bottle. Two pounds of meat calls for one tablespoon of the hickory seasoning. Gonna put that in the shaker bottle and one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of cure. Just shake the bottle to mix the cure and seasoning and sprinkle the seasoning cure mixture on top of your meat. Once it's evenly coated, just flip the meat over, coat the other side, Take the remaining seasoning and cure and just mix that up, making sure that the meat is completely saturated. Put the meat in a gallon Ziploc bag, seal it, and put that in the refrigerator to cure for 24 hours. I just happen to have a little under two pounds of elk jerky that I seasoned with the Hunter's Blend low sodium kit yesterday. It's been in the refrigerator for 24 hours, so let's open that up and get it ready to smoke. This is what the meat looks like after 24 hours of curing. See, it's nice and dark. We're gonna be using the Cook Shack today. So I'm gonna use Cook Shack jerky rods. Just gonna poke the jerky rod through there and string out my jerky. I'm gonna put a piece of hickory in the wood box. I've been making lots of jerky this week so I haven't had the time to clean out my smoker. Gonna take the jerky rods and put them in the SMO25. I'll insert a meat probe. Even though the jerky strips are very thin, it could help give me uh, an estimate as to what temperature uh, it's cooking to. Set the cook shack to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and wait an hour and a half to two hours for my hickory elk jerky. It's been about an hour and 35 to an hour and 45 minutes, so let's check it out. Oh man, you gotta smell this. 
Look good? I have our daughter Natalie, our jerky taster, with me. Let's give it a try, honey. Mmm. So tender. So delicious. Have you ever seen better looking jerky? High Mountain Seasonings Jerky Kits, absolutely easy. Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed to my videos, please do so. And until next time, this is the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter saying praise the Lord. And pass the out.